morning folks welcome back on board Potemkin thanks for joining me Sunday morning we're just coming I think to the end of this heat wave it was scorcher last night but it's overcast now and it's just been raining not a lot but uh, and it's about stopped I think but I think we're due to be at the end of this nice heat <laughs> it's too hot though isn't it right so carrying on today I'm going to do some work in the bathroom here in the wet room so I've just been reading the instructions for the tanking and I've got this the kit to tank it so we're going to be doing that and also this uh, whale gulper pump or whatever they call them I've got to see about getting that fitted but first of all I'm going to prepare the floor in there give it a sand get it all smooth down we've got filler to put around and what have you get that ready so we'll have a look it's a bit dark though it's dark because I've not had a chance to get that window cut out because I can't turn the bolt around I need a couple of lads give in and we'll pull it out and turn it around because that's on the water side so I can't get to it but in here so we'll take the low out and then we've got to tank this floor fill all the gaps and what have you, silicon, there's a special silicon you put round the corners at the bottom and what have you so we'll make that all watertight and then there's a paint on membranes, liquid membranes and we've got all that to do so and uh, on that back wall get the pump on I've took the the unit out back to the workshop because I'm going to make the concrete worktops for that and the sink we're going to be casting those so that'll be probably next week so anyway we're going to progress this so that's a good on with it right so we're going to start this floor here there's a bit of a ridge at this end so we're going to blend that back take most off with handy band and then we'll get sander and we'll blend it all in get a mucky job out of the way to start with getting this uh, all blended in, I don't know if you can see it, but the, this form has just got a slight ridge up to the board, so we'll get all this sander back, I'll use the angle grind to start with because that will remove more stuff, it's not massive, but once I've done that we'll sand it and we'll be using a epoxy filler or whatever, so we can get a transition, nice smooth transition, there's no, no joints, no ridges, nothing. Because if there is, then that's where your flooring will wear. Although it's tough as old boots like, but you've got to make it all nice and smooth. So we're getting on with that first. Get the dust out of the way, then we'll have a look at the pump. Right, that's secured down now. Now we'll get rid of all these joints by filling them up.
that's all nicely blended in there, no eye spots. So we shouldn't get any problems with that. So next thing is, well, we, you've got to cork around these edges and what have you. Uh, I'll probably do that at the end of the day because uh, you've got to let it set. So that's the best idea, put it around end of day. And then tomorrow, come down after work and uh, tank, tank the lot then. Put the primer on and the tanking solution. And that should be that done then. Oh, there's the, the tape to put round as well. So we'll leave that for now. Get an over out. And we'll have a look at this pump getting that in. Right, next job then is to sort this waste out and pump for the um, pump out of the wet room. So we've got this whale system which consists of you have this valve, it's got a plug and play end on it that goes to the pump. You can have two inlets to that so you could put a sink in it and a shower and then an outlet, it don't matter which one there's, there's just water goes in and pumps out of any of them because there's a, a little gizmo on the bottom that just detects the water when it's in there and it turns it on, sends a signal from this to the pump, turns it on right, so I could put the sink in it and I could also put the shower in it thing is, should something go wrong because anything that's mechanical, electrical, it, it's going to go wrong one day. It might not be for a lot of years, but it, but it will go wrong. And with the sink, you can just have an outlet from the sink through the skin fit in and out. So you don't need a pump, just flows gravity out. But what I'll do is I'll put the shower onto this, I'll blank one off, and then uh, the outlet from that I will then put into the same outlet as the sink going out the bathroom. So you've got that to mount on the wall, so that connects to that, and on the other end you've got your shower. So I've looked at it and I ought to actually bought another um, gully outlet or whatever, and it's for a pump out but it doesn't work as well as this one because what I can do with this one actually this fits brilliantly and it also you can undo that and you can access the chamber and pull out the little plug so if you get any blockage in there you can get it out and that goes on to there and what is very good is using this pipe that's the correct diameter for that and with this that uh, goes into that uh, screw fitting it's virtually the size of that and with some proper sealant I can make that up make that so it's one one unit so that can then shove in it's never going to leak use the proper stuff for that I just fill all that up and it'll we'll just leave it and today we'll make that up and I'll leave it for that till tomorrow so it's all set up in you know in 24 hours it'll be set up so then we'll have that and that can go straight to the valve there which is uh, I think best way I can do it and uh, it's just going to work fine and we've got this good gully and trap trap and you can undo that and get any blockages out should you get them should some of my long flowing locks come off my head and go in then I can get them out <laughs> so that's what we're going to do we're going to get that in position we'll cut that to length and uh, get that in <laughs> right let's have a look what we need to do with this So this valve will go in down here. Like so. That 
can screw to that we'll blank that right hand side one off and then the pipe can come out of here and up to the pump we need to cut this to length to allow us to get onto that from here So I think if we cut that off here, we can uh, make it work. I'll go and do that. Okay, so we've cut to lens. So that will bed into that. That gun's down there. And then we're going into that there. So we're okay. Now we've got to, oh, that paint's not dry yet, we'll get this mounted on here, so we'll let the paint dry and then we'll have that on there and see uh, how we work those hoses for that. Okay so I've got the pump on the wall, we want to join up to that valve. The stab we're not going to use, we've got to blank off. And uh, to make that up there, I've got to get an elbow because it's too tight for the pipe to bend. At, uh, it's just with the metal in it and what have you, the spring type thing inside the pipe. It doesn't want to bend, bend at that angle, so I still have to have an elbow on it. So I've got to get one of them. What we can do now is take that out and I'll make the fitting up the pipe into the fitting so that's the bit we've got to put the pipe into so we'll have that out to so the straight connector we'll have this in up to there and then we can fill all that up with this silicon adhesive type stuff and give it its best chance make sure we degrease it, get rid of anything, oils or anything like that. Because the last thing you want is it to fail underneath the, the uh, shower. We'll have a boat flooded. Right, that's that. And we've got this sealant adhesive EB25. It's a tough old adhesive totally waterproof Okay, so that's absolutely packed now. So we'll go and set that down as uh, we'll leave it for a little bit of day, something before I get back. So that can just sit there and set. Right, so what I'm also going to do is seal around here so this is becomes one. Because should I need to access that, you have to unscrew that, which parts those two, and it could be a bit tricky getting it back. But if I make that, if I seal that joint there, that that will become one unit then and that middle will still come out I'll seal the bottom one up as well and should it ever need to come apart just run a blade in there they'll both part that's it now leave them put them down for till tomorrow and we'll get on with some hotels
Last thing I can do in here today is cork this joint up and then we'll leave it, come back tomorrow and then we can tank it all with the membrane. Sealed it all around now with the silicon stuff and then there's the membrane that goes on there, the two inch wide one which uh, wraps up the corners and onto the bottom piece and then when it's tanked you tank it up and or foot or more and all along these edges here right, the vinyl will be wrapped up to that height so you've got 120 mil there, apart from the door there, but that's plenty anyway. So that's what happens. So tomorrow we can tank it. So tomorrow we'll get that tanked. Uh, Lado's coming, put flooring down, vinyl down. So that'll be a big movement then, and then I can get the walls finished in there, and that, I'll get that window in. Well, I've put belt along there or something. I've got to turn it around to get window in. At, uh, once it's put floor down, the walls coverings can go on because then they'll overlap the vinyl at the bottom it's wrapped up the wall so the water don't go behind it so anyway that's it, so thanks for watching again and uh, thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing uh, I do enjoy your comments and uh, it's nice to hear from folk and if you have any suggestions for me, I'm doing something wrong, just let me know alright, ta-ra